You know what's crazy? I never would have known if it wasn't for locums that there are acute surgery people coming for bowel obstructions, acute appendicitis, acute cholecystitis, and trauma patients, acute trauma level, significant level, leveled designated trauma patients. But they also, some of them do upper and lower endoscopy. And the crazy part is sometimes these surgeons are more available than GI because some places don't have GI, but their surgeons either steps in and helps out or says, that's not my problem. I'm not, that's beyond my scope of practice. And you have to transfer the patient out for a GI consult for uh, fluid impaction or uh, upper GI bleed or even lower GI bleed. The hospital will say, nope, no GI. But if the surgeon is able to scope the patient above and below, great. Another reason it's good to have surgery on board on a upper GI bleed, if it's a gastric ulcer, they may actually scope the patient and decide the patient may need partial gastrectomy. Because guess who uh, GI goes to when surgery can't stop the bleed? Surgery. You could probably embolize with IR, the lower GI tract, but if they fail, guess who gets, gets a phone call? Surgery gets a colectomy, performs a colectomy to stop the bleeding, the hemorrhage. Make sense? Some places just ask the surgeons, what can you do? And that may change your disposition from transfer to keeping the patient and calling the hospitals. I have someone to 